Let's look at distance time graph calculations. So the question says, a person leaves home in their car at 10 o'clock and returns at 12 o'clock. The graph shows their journey. So we've got a distance time graph here, where on the y-axis we've got distance in kilometers, and on the x-axis we've got time in hours. And then we've been given the graph with some different parts of the graph labeled with letters. We see that on the x-axis, the intervals are increasing by 30 minutes and then there's also sub intervals in between where we've got the 15 minute markers so 1015 is here 1045 is here and so on on the y-axis we've got intervals of one so the first question says how far does the person travel altogether so on our distance time graph we need to look at what the total distance is altogether so if we start at a we have a distance of zero kilometers from home and now we're looking at the highest point on this distance time graph. That will tell us the furthest distance away from home. And that occurs at D and E. So at D and E, we have a distance of 24 kilometers if we go across to the y-axis. And so at point D and E, the car is 24 kilometers away from home. Then the car returns back to home. So it goes back to the start. And so it would travel a further 24 kilometers. So in total, the person travels 24 kilometers to point D and E and then 24 kilometers back home. So if we add the two values together, 24 plus 24, we get 48 kilometers for our answer. The second question says, how long does the car stop for altogether? So on a distance time graph, a car stopping would be indicated by a horizontal line. So that's where the car would be stationary. In other words, it would have stopped. And those horizontal lines are at B and C, between D and E, and between F and G. So we need to work out the total time for those three lines. So the car reaches point B at 10.30, and then it stays stationary between B and C for 15 minutes. So this interval here is 15 minutes. The car is also stationary at point D, and it stays stationary between D and E. That's also a further 15 minutes from 11 o'clock to 11.15. And then finally, the car is stationary between F and G. So that's between 11.30 and 11.45, another 15 minutes. If we add the three together, so 15 plus 15 plus 15, we get 45 minutes in total. So if we work out the gradient of the line between A and B, we have that we start at zero kilometers and we end up at 17 kilometers. So the distance traveled is 17 kilometers. I'll just annotate the graph here. And that distance is covered in half an hour or 30 minutes, since we start at 10 o'clock and we end up at B at 10.30. So 17 kilometers is covered in 30 minutes. And so if we work out the gradient in terms of hours, then we have 34 kilometers per hour for the speed of the car between A and B. If we work out the gradient of C to D, we have that the distance away from home is 17 kilometers. So we start at 17 kilometers and then we end up at 24 kilometers. So a total of seven kilometers has been traveled between C and D and that is covered in a time of 15 minutes since the car is at point C at 10.45 and it gets to point D at 11. So seven kilometers in 15 minutes. And so if you work this out in terms of hours, we multiply both of these by four, we get 28 kilometers per hour. Now for E to F, we need to work out the gradient. So at point E, the car is 24 kilometers away from home. And at point F, the car is 10 kilometers away from home. So in total between E and F, the car has traveled 14 kilometers and that is done in a time frame of 15 minutes. So at point E, it's 11.15, and at point F, it's 11.30. So 14 kilometers in 15 minutes. And so if we work out the speed in terms of hours, we have 14 times four and 15 times four, which gives us 56 kilometers per hour. And then finally, we need to work out the speed between G and H. So at G, the car is 10 kilometers away from home, and at H, the car is zero kilometers away from home. So 10 kilometers have been traveled, and this has been done in 15 minutes. So at G, it's 11.45, at point H, it's 12 o'clock. So that's 10 kilometers in 15 minutes, 
and so if we work the speed out in terms of hours we multiply both sides by 4 we get 40 kilometers per hour if we're trying to work out which part of the journey is the fastest so we've got 34 kilometers per hour between a and b 28 kilometers per hour between c and d 56 kilometers per hour between e and f and 40 kilometers per hour between g and h then the part of the journey that is fastest is e to f and then the final question at what times is the person exactly nine kilometers away from home so what we need to do is on the y-axis go up to nine kilometers so nine kilometers is this point here and then what we do is we go across the graph and see at what times the car is nine kilometers away from home so going across from nine kilometers we have this first point here where the car is nine kilometers away from home and then if we carry this on so extend the line out then we would see that another point where the car is nine kilometers away from home is this point here. So now we need to read those times off. And so if we go down to the x-axis, the first time at which the car is nine kilometers away from home is 10.15. And the second time at which the car is nine kilometers away from home, so if we go down from this point, we have 11.45. And so we've looked at several questions to do with distance time graphs and calculations related to them.